It is back to school time, but how are school districts doing when it comes to teachers? Nationwide, there has been a shortage of teachers in the classroom as the school year starts. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. WREG's April Thompson takes a look at local school districts and where things stand when it comes to who's in the classroom. They are critical to student success, but nationwide teachers have become hard to come by. Some school districts opening with a deficit of teachers scrambling to fill classrooms. But as the interim superintendent of Memphis Shelby County Schools toured classes on this first day of school, she said that's not a problem for MSCS. There's always an opportunity to have zero vacancies, and so we are hiring on the spot. Those numbers are changing daily. The school district says it hired 100 new teachers over the summer and 1,000 since the first of the year. As of now, we have coverage for all of our classes. We're being innovative. Uh, like most school districts, we're taking an extra opportunity to invest in proximity proximity learning, virtual opportunities, but we won't shy away to say it's always most important to have a teacher in the classrooms. WREG reached out to other municipalities and we're waiting to hear back on the number of teachers they need. But from what we're being told, most say they're ready for opening day. But it doesn't mean schools are not still hiring. And if you are still in the market for a teaching job, this might be your best time to apply. So we invested over $27 million in our teachers and compensation. So I want to take that moment to advertise to say if you want to be a teacher at Memphis Shelby County Schools, please sign up. We are currently the highest paid. And then there are the perks. We're investing in their education. So if you come as a specialized education assistant, then we're going to pay for your education to be a teacher. So we are not waiting. We're investing in our own Grow Your Own program as well. Schools doing what they can to get the leaders to help the children. April Thompson, WREG News Channel 3. All right, growing your own. New Memphis Shelby County Schools is still hiring, as she said, but they haven't given us a number on just how many more teachers they plan to hire.